What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be decluttering and organizing my master bedroom closet, color coordinating all of my clothes, and sharing affordable storage solutions that will maximize any space. When it comes to organizing, the entire process can be daunting and it can make anyone feel overwhelmed when you're in the thick of things. So I hope this video motivates you to tackle any cluttered space in your home that you may have been putting off. To make things a little less overwhelming, I will be tackling my closet in sections and starting off by removing everything in that section, going through each item, asking myself if it sparks joy, does it make me feel good when I put it on, as well as when was the last time I reached for this article of clothing. While I'm doing that, I first off want to say thank you to Skillshare for partnering with me on this video. Skillshare is an online platform with thousands of classes created by creatives from graphic design, productivity, drawing, and many more. As a working mom, I was really interested in learning about how I can be more productive because trying to balance work and home life can be challenging, so learning any new tips and tricks will always be helpful. Not to mention, when it comes to YouTube and social media, there is always something new to learn. So educating myself on bettering the quality of my videos will also help me create better content for you guys. I'm currently taking the Productivity Masterclass Principles and Tools to Boost Your Productivity by Ali Abdal. He is a doctor and YouTuber and shares so many great tips in this course. It's definitely a great listen when I'm getting some cleaning done as well as when I'm at the gym. Skillshare is the perfect platform to learn something new that you have always been interested in, especially while we're all in quarantine. It gives you something new to look forward to and to learn. The first 1,000 people to click the link in the description will get a free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. So the first section that you guys saw me tackle was all of my sweatpants and leggings and I went through all of those and really just started to pick out ones that I just have not worn in a really long time. Even though I may love them and love the color but the reality is I don't ever grab for them so there's no point in keeping them around. And then I also took all of my like legging shorts and put those to the side because I definitely want to save those and store them away for next summer. And now I am tackling the bottom half of the closet. I'm going through all of the shirts and all of that stuff that we do have. One of the things that I do find challenging is also trying to declutter and organize Nick's things because the reality is I may feel as if that he should be getting rid of something, but if he still loves it and he still feels good about it, then I do have to kind of hold on to it. So I told him what I would do was I would put aside anything that I feel as if he should give away or throw away and then when he gets back he can go through them and let me know if he does in fact want to keep it or it's something that I could donate to the Goodwill. There's nothing missing now that you're my desire. Now all I have to do is to make it mine. Cause I know and you know what we could be. Like a song, like a perfect melody. Baby don't say you don't believe in me. Cause you know and I know we're on to something good. You know and I know we got something good. For some reason, when I was going through the closet and decluttering everything this time, I had given so much stuff away. It was a huge black bag full of stuff that I'm going to be donating to the Goodwill. For some reason, I guess that maybe since we're in quarantine, there's like nowhere to go. So before I feel like I would make up in my mind like, oh, maybe I can wear it here or maybe I can wear it to work. And the reality is I just never wore the items. They would just basically stay in the closet. but. 
now that I really don't have anywhere to physically go and of course my style changes throughout the years I was giving and donating a bunch of stuff and I also was finding that I was holding on to clothes that like didn't fully fit me but like when I was a little thinner they would fit me and for some reason I was holding on to them in hopes that when I do lose some weight that it would like look good on me like it used to and the reality is I need to dress for my body right now yes I am going to the gym yes I am losing weight but at the end of the day if I do not feel good wearing the piece right now then it's time to let it go As I'm starting to put clothes back, I really want to start color coordinating my stuff. I just find it to be so aesthetically pleasing to the eye. And then after watching the home edits series on Netflix, I am convinced like these girls are queens. They know what they're doing when it comes to organizing. And the way that they organized all of their clients' closets, I was in love. So I'm going to try and replicate the same thing. I don't think I'm necessarily gonna go through their exact process, but I'm basically just putting all of the clothes together that are like-minded colors and see how that looks. Now that I have the bottom half of the closet all organized, I'm gonna go in and fold everything that I plan on storing away for next summer. And then I'm going to start to add all the things that I'm donating into the black plastic bag. What I like to do to store all of my summer items is I use this really large under the bed storage item that I picked up from Ikea. I will have that linked down below for you guys. It's the perfect way to store your clothes or really anything so that you don't have to worry about having it in your closet and taking up wasted space. And not to mention you are utilizing the space underneath your bed. So it's honestly perfect. It's one of my favorite storage solutions. And like I mentioned again, I will have that linked down below. Watch me break We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me 
As I'm taking my fall and winter clothes out of the storage bin, I'm also doing the same thing I did with the closet. I'm going through asking myself how I feel when I wear it, when was the last time I wore it, did I even wear it last season? Because how often do you have something in your closet and you literally never grab for it throughout a whole entire season? That is about six months if we're talking fall and winter items. So what is the point on holding onto something if you are never going to grab for it and let other people experience this beautiful article of clothing. So that's basically what I am doing. I am putting anything on the hanger that I plan on keeping and storing into the closet and anything else is just going to be thrown onto the bed because that will be added into the black bag later. I did also want to mention that this large storage bin, we are able to get two under our bed and we have a full size bed. So if you have a queen or a king, you guys will have absolutely no problem fitting two under. By this time, Riley just got up from her nap, so you guys will see her come on in and somewhat help me out, I guess, but she's basically coming in and asking a bunch of questions, asking what I'm doing. She is definitely in that stage where she's always asking questions, asking why and all that stuff. I did explain that I had literally done the same exact thing with her closet, so if you guys did miss that, I will link that down below for you. But yeah, I'm just going to put all of my stuff away, so I'm storing all of the summer and spring items in this, and ultimately all I'm doing is just swapping these out because summer clothes are a lot thinner and they're less article of clothing, I'm able to fit way more in this bin compared to how like bulky winter stuff is. It's hard to see, I'll try to let go. It's not easy, you know. Something's not meant to be. Let's skip the apologies. Ooh, 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 ooh. But I can help that I miss you now. And I need to reminisce this cause. They keep coming back to me yeah. I can't help that I miss you now I can't help that I miss you now
wish I could make you stay Cause baby, I love you Why you tryna break us up When I'm tryna build it up I wish I could make you stop Cause baby, I love you It was starting to get late and I knew I wasn't going to be able to completely finish the closet so I left it for the next day and that is basically where I'm going to tackle all of my accessories and tank tops even my shoes as well what I like to do is I like to store all of my handbags at the top of the closet this way I can kind of keep them out of the way back in the day I feel like I used to switch out my purses so much more than I do now maybe it's just because I'm a mom and I just do not have the time to kind of constantly switch bags around but I'm gonna basically take everything down there have been a bunch of bags that I just no longer wear anymore and I don't really use so I definitely want to give those away I have thought about selling them but I just don't think that anybody's really gonna buy them and maybe just not even go through the whole hassle of doing that a fun fact about me in college I did work part-time at Bloomingdale's and I worked in the handbag and accessory department so there were always like great deals because when you are around that stuff all the time like you know when bags are gonna go on sale so I was definitely able to snag a bunch of them for such great prices hence the reason why I have so many bags so I also like to store everything in these large bins that I also picked up from Ikea I will have those linked down below for you guys they come in so many different Different colors they have pink they just added a teal color and they also have a black and white color that's the one that I used in Riley's room Since I was giving away some of my larger purses, I was able to have more space in these pink bins and I ended up taking out my veil from my wedding day which I kept in this black and white box. I decided to put that in a baggie and then store it in the pink bins and free up the box to then put some of my like summer shoes in there and free up the cubby space. This way I was able to put like my like sandals and things like that and store it towards the back of the closet. It was basically free space there and then it freed up the cubbies to put some of my like winter boots in there.
thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me today. I hope you found this video to be motivating. Thanks again to Skillshare for partnering with me on today's video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in a few days with another video.